Now I need to give you some context before starting my story. My parents owned an absolutely beautiful property in a deep part of the forest that nobody ever really went to. My girlfriend was always paranoid, so I'd always have to make fun of her whenever we went there, but she absolutely hated staying there at night. One of the reasons I actually understood. During one time we stayed there during December, I stupidly woke up in the night and turned off all of the radiators because I was worried that there was going to be a fire. We had two oil ones and one electric one, and I was convinced that in the night, I would move round and knock off the blanket and make a massive fire, and we would die. So, she woke up from the cold and said she'd never sleep there again. And I knew that was going to happen, but I decided I wanted to stay there a few nights. So, one particular summer evening, around April, we set off and make it to the cabin. Now, we're having a really good time there. And my girlfriend decides that she wants to go out into nature to have a look around. Because this is something that she loves to do. Now, I don't want to go out this soon. I have some work to do on my laptop, so I'm staying behind to do that. And I'm actually quite annoyed because there's things I want to do with friends that live not too far away. But I just have work to do that's making everything clash. And I don't want to have the feeling, you know, where you've just finished work, then just try and do something social and your brain just can't connect to changing from work, so you just feel like you're not enjoying it. Well, yeah, I was a bit annoyed trying to work as quick as possible, but God likes a hard worker, so I stay. I say goodbye to my girlfriend as she goes out, then I go into another room. I'm working away on my laptop and I can hear the door open. I think maybe my girlfriend's come back to get something, but I can't hear much. I say to her, hey, why have you come back for? But she doesn't reply. I think this is odd, but I thought she was probably just annoyed at me for something and continue working. I can hear some more movement, then eventually the door closes. I think to myself, great, God knows what I've done wrong now. But I decide that I need to continue working. Deciding that I don't want to be in trouble when she comes back. I decide to give my girlfriend a call and say, are you annoyed at me? To which she's surprised and says no. I say, why didn't you say anything when I come in? She says, I've been outside the whole time, what are you talking about? Stop playing these games on me. And I say, no, wait, didn't you come in and just ignore me? And she says no. She says, I'm sure it was one of the neighbours in the other properties just getting something and you heard their door. I think this is odd because I haven't heard anybody else around but us, and it's extremely rare that they would visit. I tell her, yeah, you're probably right, and go back to my work. I decide that I'm going to have a quick look round and see if anything's missing. But everything's where it should be. So, I decide it's probably nothing, and I'm here anyway. I'd happily fight if I need to. I'm not saying I'm strong or anything, but maybe I could scare someone, who knows. So I continue on with my work. Now, I probably do so for another good hour or so, and I take a call off of my friend. He calls to invite me out to a friend's surprise birthday, and I desperately want to go, but I know it's not possible, because I have to go out to two or three other places after, but I really want to try and go, and I tell him not to worry, I'm going to try and make it, but I'll let him know. I say, God... As I put the phone down, I'm desperate to get out and do things, but I'm chain bound to my laptop doing work. I decide to press on. Now, as I'm doing my work, I get another phone call from my girlfriend who says, Are you going to come over? I say, What do you mean? She's probably about 400 meters away from me, but she says, Where are you? I say, I'm in doing my work. You know what I'm doing. She says, Huh? That's odd, I thought I just saw you outside. I say no, I don't think it's anything, but you should probably come back, to which she agrees. I decide to go out and try and meet her halfway there. I think it's a lot safer that way. I actually look around quite paranoid, thinking maybe someone's there, but surely it's my neighbours. I try and affirm to myself. But I'm wrong. I can clearly see into the other cabins that nobody else is home. 
and I quickly go out and find my girlfriend. More than anything, I'm happy I'm not in trouble for no reason, and my girlfriend's actually relatively happy, so we come back and end up watching a film. Now, we ended up going out for the rest of the day, and luckily, I managed to do all of the things I need to, and I actually feel really happy about this. We then come back to the cabin, and all is normal. We have a really good time, and slowly fall asleep. Now, I probably fell asleep for a couple of minutes when I'm awoken suddenly. My girlfriend's annoyed at me. I don't know what for. She says, hey, why do you keep talking? I say, what are you talking about? I haven't said a word to you. She gets angry and says, stop kidding. I'm actually really scared now. I say again, I don't know what you're talking about. I've been asleep the whole time. She says, were you not talking to me? I said, no, of course not. It's probably just in my sleep. Now you need to do the same. My girlfriend eventually falls asleep and I do too. Now when I wake up in the morning, I have a strange feeling that something's off. I can't really describe exactly what it is, but I feel like somebody's behind me when I'm working on my laptop. And one of the things I made has gone missing. I think it's really strange because it's work related and I don't understand why my girlfriend would move it or anyone would take it. I was actually worried at the time that I had memory issues because of an injury from work but it turns out I was wrong about it and I just had poor memory. So I kind of brush it off as nothing and just me going a bit senile. Now I drink some of my water and not long afterwards I feel really weird. I feel really like headed and busy, almost like I've been drugged or something. I think I've just stayed up too long trying to do work and I decide to lay down. I don't tell my girlfriend what's wrong because like I said at the time I was really worried about having some kind of brain issue from work. My girlfriend then goes out again eventually and I just tell her I have a good time and she goes. Now I wake up two hours later to miss phone calls off my girlfriend. I have the worst headache ever and I've realised my girlfriend's just moving out the door now. I say hey where are you going but she doesn't reply to me. I then go to call her quickly because I don't feel like moving and she says why haven't you answered my calls? I say what do you mean? Why did you just leave? My girlfriend then goes completely silent and quickly comes inside. She then says, what's wrong with you? You look absolutely horrible. I say, I don't know. I feel really bad at the minute. I say, I think it's an injury from work, but she says, no, it can't be. I then realise that it's probably from what I just drank. I say, babe, don't drink any of the water. There's definitely something wrong here. But then she reminds me, what do you mean? I just left. I say, when I was waking up, I saw you quickly leave through the door. To which my girlfriend gives me a pure look of horror and says, No, I was outside for the last two hours and got annoyed you wouldn't reply to my calls while I thought you were busy working. I then tell her frantically, No, ever since I've drank this water I felt terrible, but I definitely saw you or someone leaving. We then both look at each other horrified. I quickly go and grab a knife and start shouting at whoever it is to come out or I'm going to stab them. It must have looked pretty funny because I was saying things I'd seen in movies, but we're both scared now. My girlfriend goes and waits by the window because it's safer there. I search every inch of the apartment and I can't find anything. I think this is really strange and I say we have to get out of here and make a police report. My girlfriend agrees and we gather up the stuff we need, which is basically our laptops, and quickly head over to the car. Just as I'm about to drive off, my girlfriend says, no, wait, look. I don't know what she's talking about, but she says, look, please, do you not see that? I look up and I can clearly see some kind of marks on the window. I get out really quickly, this time filled with rage. I still have a terrible headache and I just assumed I was dehydrated, but, but I make my way over to the cabin windows and I can clearly see handprints all over them. They're from the outside too, and there's lots of different hands of different sizes. I don't need to hang around much longer. 
I just played it cool and quickly sprinted back to the truck. Well, as cool as you can look when you look terrified and you don't say anything and just run and hit the accelerator as quick as possible. My girlfriend doesn't actually say anything to me because it's clear what's happened. She has better eyes than I do and she can see all of the handprints. I didn't want to tell her when we were driving away that all of them were different sizes. We eventually make it over to my parents' house and I go and tell my dad what happened. I don't want to tell my girlfriend too many details because I know she'll get really scared and I trusted telling my dad. My dad gave me a funny look and told me that some of the neighbours have reported seeing weird things out in the forest at night in the sense of figures in all black walking round, seemingly trying desperately not to be spotted. I say, Dad, why didn't you tell me? And he says, Son, I didn't want to worry you. I'm sorry for what's happened. I forget to tell my dad about the water that I've drank and how strange I felt, and my dad gives me a really weird look, saying they probably drugged you and they were probably trying to kidnap you. I feel absolutely awful now. I'm more annoyed at myself for being so ignorant. Even if I'd got one of them with the knife, surely the others would have come. The weird thing was, though, there was almost no signs of anybody around other than the person I saw in the handprints. I mean, you'd think all of the leaves in the forest would have been disturbed, but they were pretty normal, and I just don't know what to think of it. Of course, we never went back there again, but... I haven't really felt right about the whole situation since, and I actually get really paranoid when I'm going to sleep. Now I'm one of those people that can only really relax when I'm in nature, and luckily for me, I lived in an area that was very close to nature. Having been a forest ranger before, I guess I was really at one with nature and find peace in myself out there, so I didn't mind going during some gloomy mornings or during the winter months. I actually preferred it in some ways, to be honest. So I'd set out on one of these walks, just like the thousands I had before, probably. I'd clocked up hundreds of miles in forests just from walking, and not only on my job. Now, I wasn't actually on duty during this particular day. Now, if I said it wasn't cold out, I would be lying. There was actually frost all over the floor, which made it look really cold, I thought. But to some people, this might be a bad thing, but I don't know. I'm walking through an area of forest that has really nice tall trees. They're pretty bare at the bottom, but have some leaves on the top and some leaves on the floor. I liked being able to walk through, especially at times like this when there was mist. It looked like the start of a horror movie, or maybe a Halloween movie, but I guess they're the same thing. But to give you a picture, the trees look almost black. There's an overcast so you can't really see the sun, and there's frost all over the floor and some water dripping from the trees. Again, to some people, I'd understand why they might not like it, but to me, it was beautiful. So I begin on my walk like normal, and I've realised it is actually quite cold, so I decide I probably shouldn't stop and should just keep going, because that's when you get cold, when you stop moving. And where water kept falling onto my head, it was actually making me a little bit wet, and that's the easiest way to lose body heat. Now... I'm having a really good time on my walk, and I eventually make it through into a clearing where the trees change and there's relatively tall grass. Now, I don't know if any of you have ever been to Scotland, but it kind of looks like some of the forests in there, and I thought this was really beautiful. Now, as I'm going along my way, I keep on catching some strange movement on the mossy rocks. It's really hard to describe, but it almost looks like every so often I see something move. Kind of like there's a lag in my vision, but there's literally nothing wrong with my vision because I have eyes that are perfectly good. I think maybe it's just my brain going a bit funny, so I decide to keep going. Now I'm following an old wall which is really beautiful and has more of this moss on it. 
Now I can't actually see very far ahead of me because the fog is quite thick now. It's slowly slowly getting darker but I know roughly where I am so I haven't got anything to worry about really. I decide I need to make it away from the moss and get to an area that I know better. I can hear a faint moaning in the distance through the fog where I can't actually see. It's bizarre because it doesn't sound like any of the animals that I've encountered before or anything that you'd usually expect to find out here. And I also can't see it. There's just fog everywhere. It also gives a nice silence to the forest, well, except for this sound. It's a very deep kind of moan, but more aggressive if that makes sense. I think this is strange, but I think it could just be some animal I've not really encountered before and continue onwards. I decide that I should probably try and get to some high ground and make my way back to where I can return to my car easily because it is really cold. So I continue walking. I'm off the trail now, just going through the grassy stuff. Now, it's actually quite annoying because every time I'm walking, there are trees that have kind of fallen or where the branches are low, so I have to keep ducking under them. I continue making my way when I've realised that one of the rocks looks like it's moving. It's a large green moss covered one and it seems like it's just sliding down but not making any sounds. I stop and stare at it until it slowly goes off into the fog where I can't see it now. I think this is really bizarre. It appears like it almost stands up to the height of a human man and slowly kind of moves along like it's got parts of it that aren't fully connected. You know how if you move a mop, kind of like that, like detached but joined at the same time. Now, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little worried at this point. It literally looks like someone in a ghillie suit, or maybe like a sniper suit. I try and get closer to it, but it disappears over the hill. I figured out what's happened now. Somebody is hunting in a ghillie suit, but hasn't told anyone. Well, not me at least. I actually get a bit angry at this point, because that's actually really dangerous for me because they could easily mistake me for something in the fog and take a shot at me. And guess what, there's not meant to be hunters here. At least I know what was making those creepy sounds earlier. I move further along and I can see more of the moss covered rocks. It looks just like whatever this person is and as I stop for a few minutes, I can hear the sound again, this time closer like a deep moaning sound. I look off and once again, I can see this thing. It looks like it's crouched down with its head down against a tree, moving very slightly forwards and backwards. I then notice to the left of it, there seems to be another person in a ghillie suit doing exactly the same thing. I think this is really odd. It just looks like big moss covered people moving, almost in distress. Now I call out and say hey. You need to stop this. You're really scaring me and you're not meant to be hunting here. Then there's silence. One of these things stands up and just stares at me. I say stare because I can't really see its eyes but this thing's tall. It's probably six feet at least and it's not moving now. The other one's doing the same. At this moment, I'm starting to really doubt whether this is actually a person messing around with me or not. Or maybe some deranged crazy person, I don't know. And then, I hear the sound again. It's definitely coming from whatever these things are. And they start slowly moving towards me. Not very quick, almost like limping towards me, but something's just so off about it. I think maybe it's people trying to scare me off, so I stand my ground. Well, that lasts for about two seconds before I get a gut feeling that I shouldn't really be here right now. I turn around and start making a quick walk away. I know if I walk quickly I can probably escape whatever this is, but I don't want to run and hurt myself on a rock. I turn around and I can't see too far because of the fog. 
I do this for a good few minutes and realise that this thing is keeping pace with me pretty nicely. I then make my way to even more of the moss covered rocks and I get a weird feeling that something just isn't right. I feel like I'm in something's home and I'm not meant to be and in all my years of being a ranger I've never seen a creature like this. It really looks like a weird swamp creature but not, I don't know, it just should not be out in the forest. Now I've heard stories from other rangers about this area having tribes that used to live here that would do all kinds of rituals and they would describe some kind of night creatures but these were completely different. The thing that had been described to us was much taller, almost like a giant pencil that would walk along slowly, but similarly, this thing would actually go in pairs or groups, so I don't know, maybe this was a winter variant I was seeing. No, stop. My mind's playing tricks on me. This can't be real. I continue going, and the fog's actually relatively annoying now. It's kind of making me feel like there's too much moisture everywhere, though I guess that's what it is. I continue until eventually I'm on a path again and I pick up the pace. I manage to make it towards trees that are actually a lot easier to move through and the path is straight. I stop and take a moment to question my own sanity. What are these things? What did I just see? And sure enough, one of them catches up with me. I can just about make a silhouette out in the background and sure enough, it's slowly coming towards me. I scream, hey, I'm a park ranger and you better stop or you're going to be in some real trouble. The thing keeps moving and I can just feel water dripping onto my head from some of the trees. I decide that I have to sprint now. I actually fall instantly and I feel like my head from...